बीजेपी वायरल वीडियो बॉम्ब ऑन राइवल्स ये सब आपके रिश्तेदार है बिजनेस पार्टनर है जी ये दीदी बंगाल में बिजनेस संभालती है वो चाचा बिहार में ये यूपी में ये मुंबई में और ये चेन्नई में और इन्होंने हाल ही में खोली है दुकान दिल्ली में पूरे देश में बिजनेस फैला है जी सब कमाते हैं और मॉक्स इन फाइटिंग इन इंडिया अलायंस दूल्हे तो आप ही हो ना और कौन होगा जी दूल्हा कौन होगा ये डिसाइड नहीं हुआ है अब तक दूल्हा हम बनेंगे इज्जत की कोई कमी नहीं है सट आयर ऑन ऑपोजिशन कुर्सी वॉर दुकान इनसे काफी बड़ी है दूल्हा तो हम ही बनेंगे इसको तो हम बिहार में दूल्हा बना देंगे लेकिन यहाँ पे दूल्हा हम ही बनेंगे ओ काका। राहुल अखिलेश केजरीवाल लैम्पू यही दुकान खोल के बैठे है क्या ओ भाई पिछली बार भी किसी दूसरे की बारात पे दूल्हा बन गए थे आप इस बार आपकी दुकान भी आपके नाम से नहीं है अरे? रुको 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 दीदी उधव तेजस्वी कैरी के बाद में बात करेंगे ओ दादा दूल्हा तो इनके मैनेजर ही बनेगी Will this trigger a viral video fight before 2024? The big focus on Five Life. And that's the BJP's latest video attack on the opposition India Alliance, but the opposition is of course not sitting pretty. They've got videos lined up of their own to lampoon the BJP. It's a very familiar crossfire. It happened in the 2014 election, that's where it started. 2019 it became bigger and this time it has hit maximum pitch i'll show you more of that video and i'll tell you about the legacy of these videos between the congress and the bjp i'm shiv this is five live here are the headlines congress ticket nataka erupts karnataka mantris at war over kolar ticket five mlas threaten to resign from the congress party chief minister sidramaiah admits there is a fight within the party ranks over parivarvad Fishers erupt in Maharashtra's Aghadi camp. Congress and Uddhav Sena fight over three seats. Sharad Pawar's MCP faction to declare seats separately. Arvind Kejriwal moves High Court to quash ED arrest. Mrs. Kejriwal reads out an emotional message from the Chief Minister in lockup. Says no money recovered in liquor gate yet. Double jolt for the Aam Aadmi Party in Punjab. Aam Aadmi Party's lone MP from Jalandhar, Sushil Kumar Rinki, joins the BJP. Aap's Jalandhar MLA Sheetal Anu Angura Anguraal also jumps ship to the BJP. Election Commission cracks the whip on sexist Netas. Sources say the poll body has sent a show cause notice to the Congress's Supriya Shrine for her Kangana sexist slur post and Dilip Ghosh for his Mamata father jai. 23 days to go for the elections all seats have not been declared by either the NDA or the India Alliance but a war has now broken out in the video space the BJP has just dropped a video that has gone very rapidly viral which lampoons the India Alliance the opposition alliance and seeks to hit the alliance where it hurts and that is on the contradictions the infighting and the competitiveness between the various stalwarts that make up the India Alliance take a look at this report which has hit the India Alliance where it hurts on the issue of how there are so many contradictions within the india alliance they're fighting over who gets to be the prime minister or the dulha in this satirical video that nobody should trust them says the bjp they've got didi they've got kharge they've got tejasvi they've got uh, rahul gandhi they've got stalin they've got kejriwal they've got akhilesh yadav they've got lalu prasad and they've got many others and this is a video that has rubbed certain members of the opposition alliance the wrong way take a look at what it has as the state of war 2024 hits top gear the battle expectedly is also raging on social media and it's the bjp that has fired a fresh salvo at the india alliance with this parody ye sab aapke रिश्तेदार है बिजनेस पार्टनर है जी ये दीदी बंगाल में बिजनेस संभालती हैं। वो चाचा बिहार में ये यूपी में ये मुंबई में और ये चेन्नई में 
और इन्होंने हाल ही में खोली है दुकान दिल्ली में पूरे देश में बिजनेस फैलाया जी सब कमाते हैं और मेरे बात तो खाते हैं The BJP video takes the arranged marriage theme a step forward by hitting the opposition on the key issue of leadership. Dule to aap hi ho na? Aur kaun hoga ji? Dula kaun hoga? Ye decide nahi hua hai ab tak. Dula hum banenge. Izzat ki koi kami nahi hai. Hey bhai, tum to rehne hi do. Hamare dukaan hi se kaafi badi hai. Dula to hum hi banenge. Isko to hum Bihar mein dulha bana denge. Lekin yahan pe dulha हम ही बनेंगे ओ काका सारी शादियाँ क्या आपके ही घर में होगी क्या और हम क्या यहाँ यू ही दुकान खोल के बैठे हैं क्या ओ भाई पिछली बार भी किसी दूसरे की बारात पे दूल्हा बन गए थे आप इस बार आपकी दुकान भी आपके नाम से नहीं है अरे अ सेपरेट टॉन्ट एम्ड एट द कांग्रेस टू रुको रुको इसके बारे में हम बाद में बात करेंगे ओ दादा दूल्हा तो इनके मैनेजर ही बनेगी दुला तो छोटे बाबा ही बनेंगे विच लीड्स टू अ फुल ब्लोन फाइट अमंग्स द अलाइज आपको लगता है ये अपने बीच दूल्हा चुन सकते हैं तो प्रधानमंत्री कैसे चुनेंगे द वीडियो एंड विद बीजेपी चार सौ पार वॉक राइट खानदानी लुटेरों की कोशिश होगी बेकार द बीजेपी पैरडी हैज गार्नर्ड ओवर वन पॉइंट टू मिलियन व्यूज इन काउंटिंग वॉट विल बी द ऑपोजिशन काउंटर नाउ Bureau Report, India Today. Now, this latest video that's been dropped by the BJP is only the latest, like I said, in what has been a season of satirical caricature videos of each side lampooning and mocking the other side. Today, it was the BJP's turn, but there have been a whole host of videos that have been released by both sides over the last few months, making fun of the other. The 2024 battle is raging very much on social media, with parties dropping these video bombs on each other. We've shown you what the BJP dropped yesterday, but now let's look at some of the other viral videos released by both sides mocking each other. The BJP, for instance, released this video taking a dig at the opposition's decision not to attend the Ram Mandir Pran Pratishtha ceremony in January. The video shows Rahul Gandhi, Malik Arjun Kharge and Sonia Gandhi and India Bloc members saying, Hum Mandir Nahi Jai. In another video, the BJP calls Arvind Kejriwal a scamster. The satirical video raises questions on Sunita Kejriwal's video message that she gave sitting in the Chief Minister's chair. The post shared on social media read the Chief Minister's post is not Kejriwal's property. अपने आंदोलन के दिनों में अरविंद केजरीवाल ने कहा था कि इस कुर्सी में ही कोई दोष है जो इस पर बैठता है वही भ्रष्ट हो जाता है अपनी इस बात को सिद्ध करने के लिए उन्होंने करोड़ों का शराब घोटाला भी कर दिया शान पित्रोदा जी के स्टाइल में बोले तो ये घोटाला हुआ तो हुआ अब घोटाला तो कर दिया मीन वाल कांग्रेस इज ऑल्सो नॉट बिहाइंड इन दिस मीम वॉर रिलीजिंग एन एनिमेशन कवाली वीडियो ऑन यूट्यूब द ग्रैंड ओल्ड पार्टी मॉक द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एन इज गारंटी द ट्रैक इस टाइटल झूठा था तेरा वादा जनता लाचार जहां ओ अच्छे दिन का इंतजार यहाँ झूठा था तेरा वादा वादा तेरा वादा वादा तेरा वादा एंड दिस वीडियो वॉर बिटवीन द बीजेपी एंड द कांग्रेस इज नॉट न्यू ऑलमोस्ट एट मंथ्स बैक इंडियन यूथ कांग्रेस इज ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल पब्लिश द वीडियो ऑफ राहुल गांधी एंड नरेंद्र मोदी बॉलीवुड स्टाइल मोनोलॉग The video shows Rahul Gandhi nothing less than a hero fighting for his mohabbat or his country. Isse bada saboot aur kya ho sakta hai ki CBI ED in sab ke zariye aapne logon ko dara kar rakha hai bhaiya. Satta chalane ke liye do hi cheezon ki zarurat hoti hai Mr Rahul dar aur nafra. Main power mein hu And then you have Rahul Gandhi seen slamming Prime Minister Modi and calling him an actor. The 29 second long video from just a few weeks ago is a short version of Rahul Gandhi's speech on one of his pet subjects, the Adani issue. Parso aap ye karoge. Subah uthke samudra ke niche jao. Chalo sea plane mein udho. Chappan inch ki chhati nahi hai, thokla bhi akti hai. Narendra Modi bhaiyon aur behno sirf mask hai. 
Now the big talking point today of course is the video that the BJP dropped late last evening needless to say in this uh, age of hyper uh, hi, you know hyper social media cells this video has gone completely viral it's been shared across social media across whatsapp and the caricatural nature uh, of all the india alliance members being in it has of course added to the masala and drama of this big election fight of 2024 uh, remember that this uh, particular video captures almost all of the prominent india alliance members from akhilesh yadav to udhav thakre to mamta banerjee rahul gandhi Malik Arjun Kharge, Arvind Kejriwal, Tejasvi Yadav, M.K. Stalin, and many more. So that video is online. You can catch it. But one leader who has reacted and quite angrily about this video is uh, is uh, Shiv Sena Udav Bala Sahib Thakre, uh, Rajya Sabha MP Priyanka Chaturvedi, who joins me now to chat. uh briefly about it priyanka welcome thank you for being with me here uh, on india today uh, i want to first read out what priyanka has said in reaction to this video she says the latest bjp ad is a pathetic example of how they look at women's role in society the typical stereotype of a woman being all dolled up to impress a groom in an arranged marriage setting that's how they see an indian voter a woman seeking a groom rather than a government a woman knows the difference in her political vote and what makes love float priyanka over to you explain that see i all i'd like to say here shiv are two things first the indian voter dressed up like a bride to choose make a choice as to groom and government are two very different things and how they portrayed an indian voter and using the example of a arranged marriage setting where groom comes to decide whether he is going to go ahead with the marriage or the, for the bride to decide whether she would go with this particular groom is extremely unfortunate it's another caricature for women as a political party of course we see all kinds of attacks coming from the bharatiya janata party of mm. course they've made this point over and over and over again that who's going to be the prime ministerial phase even the prime minister himself has spoken about it we have spoken about it in umpteen places that the people of this country would decide who the prime minister of this country would be having said that but using women to caricature some particular messaging i find that extremely unfortunate and there are various ways of you know even if you're making a sarcastic video witty mm. video even if it goes viral good for you however it reduces a woman's role in the society i tell you more women voters come out to vote in this country and they are making their choices heard and having a woman all dolled up and uh, you know t- talking to a particular groom and a particular groom coming with business partners etc i think that's making an entire mockery of how women are presented in this country it's okay point noted you say you you find the metaphor that's been used in this video in uh, inappropriate and distasteful coming to the you know coming to the caricature and the uh, you know and the subject matter of this which you touched upon as well uh, priyanka uh, you know is it that this you know kind of hits the india alliance in an issue that uh, you know is something that hurts you you know indecision in fighting uh, you know the fact that you have all these contradictions and competitive interests that's what the bjp appears to have locked upon in this video actually not it's quite a mockery of uh, how uh, nda looks at its alliance partners they have some 38 39 odd uh, uh, alliances they are so called business partners if i go by the metaphor used business partners does anyone have the capacity ability or the audacity to even suggest that they would be looking to take on the responsibility of leading the nation they won't because the minute they express their desire they would be thrown out of the alliance it's a very dictatorial idea of running how uh, alliance partnership should be or how democracy should be I, do, i take pride in the fact that there are enough and more capable leaders mm. who are leading their states and have been effectively uh, you know who have effectively won the mandate of the people and are equally capable so yes. it's actually a mockery of democracy and how democratic principles work if i look at it if an india alliance manages to get 272 mps it would be the members of parliament who should be choosing who their prime minister would be who would be the first minister in a cabinet mm. and that's how democracy works what they're doing is making a mockery of that entire institution so there are there could be differences differences appear in every political party every political ideology every political alliances 
And if you look at the history of India and the governments that have run the uh, country, yes. every time there has been an alliance government in power, whether it is the liberalization, whether it's the nuclear deal with America, where the various important landmark decisions were taken with an alliance government in running. Would they make a mockery of Atal Bihari Vajpayee's government, which had probably more alliance partners than India Alliance? I, I, take, I take your point, but that's, in this... That's a bit of a mockery of the you know, institution of democracy itself. Uh, Priyanka, I, I take your point, but you know, d wouldn't you agree that the dynamic is a little different this time? I'll qualify my question because you know, the BJP obviously has an interest in trying to show you guys as a bunch of infighting, uh, you know, confused satraps uh, you know, who can't even get their act together a few days before the election. That's for the BJP to decide. But at the end of the day, it was your leader, uh, 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 Udhav Thakre, who had actually put forward a very evocative line, which I, I personally as a journalist thought when Udhav Thakre had said that we have no shortage of leaders and we have no shortage of faces, I thought that was actually a pretty good way to represent what the India Alliance stood for. But you saw how that quickly got washed away you know, with some faces being suddenly projected, etc. And that appears to be what the BJP is, you know, trying to hit out at. You know what I'm talking about. No, no. No, no. I'll just tell you one thing. Nothing gets washed away in the minds of the people. It can get washed away in the media narrative or how Bhartiya Janata Party wants to push a particular narrative. Hmm. However, the narrative is actually extremely uh, uh, important and I think people understand that. That there are people, there are chief sitting chief ministers of various states who are there. If you look at the total MLAs of the India Alliance, they far, uh, I think they outnumber the number of uh, MLAs that probably BJP has. And if you look at the representation, it's a beautiful representation of what my country stands for, unity and diversity. And that they are willing to take this charge of leading the nation. I think it's something which is important to note. So even if they're mocking that, that is for Bharti Janta Party to do. My yeah, only yeah. appeal is... That while you're making videos using metaphors, whether you're using sarcasm, you're using wit, please feel free to do that. Please mm. feel free to attack the opposition. However, don't reduce the women and their role in the society. That, that I think, personally impacts me in the sense that this is yeah, something I, I've been speaking enough. about yeah. uh, over and over again. Mm. And it actually plays a huge role, huge role in how women perceive themselves in the society. It's a, it, it, it is an, you know, it is a conditioning that happens yeah. when people see these kind of videos. I get that it. Is I my understand that. Problem. Yeah. That was my problem. That's what I expressed. No, no. I, and your and like I said, your point is taken as far as you know the choice of metaphor, the depiction of women, etc. I think it's an important point that you make, and it's one it's important to be registered as well in the minds of viewers. Uh, moving on to my next question, Priyanka. You know, see the the, the BJP latching on to uh, uh, you know the the infighting within the India Alliance is obviously of benefit to them. Uh, you know, it, it, it benefits the BJP to show you guys as not united when the India Alliance, uh, you know, tries to put up a united face. We saw what happened at the Shivaji Park recently as well. It was most certainly a signal moment for opposition unity. And, you know, your rivals will try to erode that image. They want to give the voters the image that you guys are a scattered bunch who can't agree on even seat sharing. Forget about, you know, who the prime minister is going to be. But to that point... Uh, you know, the BJP may have what it's saying on one side, Priyanka, but look at what's happening in Maharashtra right now. You've got the Congress party calling one of your leaders, Khichdi Chor, uh, you know, the inability to, uh, you know, they're angry with you guys because you've gone ahead and announced a certain number of seats. I understand. You're a politician. I understand these things happen in seat sharing. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, this tutu meme goes on between allies. It's not a big deal. But so close to the elections, Priyanka, that's what the BJP is talking about. You can't even get your seats right and you want to rule together. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll firstly tell you very clearly that as far as our alliance is concerned, the alliance stays. Secondly, if you look at the Mahajuti alliance, which is in power right now, hmm. you won't even know the number of seats that have been decided upon. Don't you think they have a bigger responsibility of letting the country know, Undoubtedly. The state know yeah. who their representatives are going to be? Do you know there are protests? There are protests happening outside the uh, illegal chief minister's house every day by his own party members with regards to seats. Do you remember what Chagan Bujbal has spoken about? How many seats NCP wants? Uh, uh, you know, Ajit Pawar NCP wants. So, uh, you know, infighting, etc., just trying to say that, oh, it's happening on the other side, it's absolutely incorrect to say. And one person saying Khichdi Chor and using the words that, that he has done, hmm. he's, you, you know, he's bringing out his personal grouse for having been a losing candidate two times over yeah, and yeah. not getting a ticket. 
is not uh, the Congress Party's problem, really. He has lost. In fact, he has increased the losing margin for the Congress Party, whether it, when he contests in Mumbai North or whether he took over the seat of Mumbai Northwest. It is also a fact that we have won those seats and those seats are our winning seats the last two terms. Hmm. So we are not going to part with that. So one person's grouse does not become the entire political party alliance. So I think we should know the difference between the two. So today when Chagan Bujbal talks, yeah, does that yeah. mean that this is the entire NCP wanting to break away, uh, the Ajit Pawar faction wanting to break away? So let's play fair here. So of course there could be some issues with yeah. regards to seat uh, sharing and seat declaration. That does not mean that there is no unity, there's, there's no, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's no cohesion. There mm. is absolute clear cohesion and we are all contesting together and we are going to be winning in Maharashtra. That, that much I can assure you with, uh, with certainty. 23 days to go and, yeah, and I agree with you that Maharashtra is you know, turning out to be, even in my limited political understanding, Priyanka, I do hear that Maharashtra is going to be perhaps the most interesting state to look out for. But having said that, 23 days to go for the election and uh, you know and I, I, I in many ways understand the perspective of how the media is covering the India alliance vis-a-vis -vis the NDA government and the NDA allies etc. But there is a sense that uh, 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 with 23 days left time has sort of run out to establish that unity. You know you've had certain you know uh, so certain events like your meetings in in, in, in Mumbai or the Shivaji Park, uh, you know, speeches, etc., where that unity has been come out, has come out kind of cosmetically, but otherwise it has not really come forward. Do you think the public and the voters are going to buy that whole unity proposition? I'm sorry, but I will have to correct you, Yashiv. The number of political parties that got together in the India Alliance continue to stay uh, yep, intact, barring. Yep. Mr. Nitish Kumar, who's a known, you know, uh, uh, changing, yeah. uh, changing combinations. Mm. The second is probably Jayant Chaudhary. The second person is probably Jayant Chaudhary's uh, team, uh, yes. party, right? The rest has stayed intact. Mm. So I don't know where the disunity narrative comes from. The disunity narrative is something that the BJP is giving to everybody every single day. However, we continue to stay united. They said, oh, Amani Party and Congress will not work together. They have formed an alliance in mm. uh, Delhi. Yeah. Um, uh, West Bengal, she may not be contesting along with the Congress party, but it very much is part of the India Alliance and committed to the idea of getting Win India Alliance to be a strong opposition of a strong party hmm. in governance if give, people give us that mandate. So I think the commitment to the Alliance is totally there and on, uh, okay. probably on 31st we are all going to be together again having a joint rally on the, uh, in Delhi. So, but, but, but the question can actually be asked to the BJP. Why is it that they're uh, suddenly desperate to be with Raj Thakre? We don't even know what, what is happening with Raj <laughs> Thakre. Are they asking him yeah. to merge with Eknath Shinde or not merge with Eknath Shinde or contest independently? That's one issue. Then let's look at uh, uh, their last minute alliances attempt to uh, tie up with AIA DMK, Shiromani Akali Dal. Hmm. What is happening with that? I think someone really needs to ask some tough questions of the BJP just oh, because they have a, okay, they have a prime ministerial face. Because Mr. Modi will not entertain even a Nitin Gadkari ji replacing him. Mm, mm. That does not mean that people of India are accepting the idea of Mr. Narendra Modi having given umpteen promises in his 2014 campaign, not having lived up to it in 2024. Yeah. Out of 140 crore people in this country, 80 crore are living off free rations rather than having jobs. I think it is something that really needs to be asked of this government. And that is what people, uh, I, I would say people across the length and breadth of this country are questioning. As much as B uh, BJP might try and push a, a narrative of, oh, there's no unity, but in fact, there's more cohesion in what our uh, commitment to people would be if we come to power vis-a-vis -vis what BJP is promising. The, 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 my final question, Priyanka, before I let you go is, the, obviously, the larger, you know, the larger point that uh, your rivals are trying to make with, you know, with videos of this kind and the general messaging that you're seeing is that while they are battle-ready and ready for this election, uh, you know, the India alliance is in disarray and bound, you know, sort of saddled with all these contradictions. Uh, uh, you know, uh, to speak of a number, uh, as far as the NDA alliance is concerned, they've got 14 seats left to declare, whereas the India alliance has about 169 seats left uh, to declare, which is a wide gap. I'm not saying that means anything. Obviously, it's a protracted election, seven phases, where there's an entirely separate debate on that, of course. But... This is about battle readiness. Ultimately, you're saying that this video doesn't harm you at all? 
No, no, I, I'm not talking about video harming. No video or content that is pushed out and is made viral through their various networks and the kind of unfair uh, social media advantage that they have. I hmm. call it unfair because we have seen a pattern. We have seen it in the last election too. That is why I call it unfair. There's no uh, fair playing field for, for the opposition. They may make this viral. However, the question remains that today we are standing in a position, 2014, the commitments, the, what are the four guarantees Mr. Modi is speaking about? The four guarantees are with regards to uh, uh, women, with regards to youth, with regards to farmers and with regards to the poor. Was, was, weren't they exactly the same promises made in 2014? Hmm. We will keep talking about what is our commitment. Our commitment is to provide employability. We, our commitment is to ensure that women are heard rightfully, irrespective of biases. Today, no woman should be protesting at Jantar Mantar and the sitting member of parliament continues to be protected by those who are in positions of power. That is the kind of governance we are looking at. We are looking at a governance which provides for the youth of this country, allows them to aspire for bigger dreams, does not give them free doles out free rations to people. And poverty means actually removing them out of poverty circles and giving them, yeah. making them employable. Those are the ideas that I think everyone should be speaking about, but nobody's talking about ideas. They're coming up with these kind of caricatures, yeah. which is unfortunate. Let's debate ideas. Let's no, debate absolutely. issues. I, the, and if you, if you fault us at that, I will be happy to answer those questions. Yeah. But if you caricature people, your opposition, caricature women into some positions, I, I have a huge problem with that. And that is exactly what I was saying. Okay. Very uh, good speaking to you, Priyanka Chaturvedi. Thank you very much for your time taking my questions here on India Today. All the very best for this election season Thank and you. hope to have you back on the show very, very soon. Thank you, Priyanka. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jeep scam, fodder scam, Bofors artillery scam, stamp paper scam, truck scam, housing scam, plantation scam, palmolin oil scam, hydroelectricity scam, provident fund scam, coffin scam, teacher recruitment scam, Food grain scam, submarine scam, land scam, mall scam, dal scam, rice scam, chana scam, Bengal gram scam, Jawar scam, gold scam, bajra scam, aluminium scam, ragi scam, wheat scam, water scam, juice concentrate scam, soya nugget scam, spectrum scam, software scam, housing loan scam, army egg scam, housing society scam, Army milk scam, granite stone scam, army meat scam, forestry scam, warehousing scam, coal allocation scam, wakf board land scam, fertilizer scam, irrigation scam, sand mining scam, PVC pipe scam, solar panel scam, Arvin dairy scam, liquor scam, lottery scam, chit fund scam, VVIP helicopter scam, Indian Premier League scam, apple scam, mango scam, Dry fruit scam, construction scam, molasses scam, textile scam, e-tender scam, RTO scam, electricity scam, pharmaceutical scam, fake ice cream scam, cement scam, hotel scam, soil scam, garbage collection scam, wood scam, steel scam, job scam, and the latest two to hit the headlines, guava scam and khichdi scam. Viewer, I haven't made up a single one of the scams that I've just read out. They're each and every one of them real. Google and see for yourself. The reason I've just subjected you to this roll call of all of India's major scams is to welcome the latest members of this hallowed honorable club. That's right, even the innocent Khichdi and Guava aren't spared when it comes to greed in this country. Now, we as Indians have become desensitized to the word scam, probably because, as you just saw, we've actually lived through so many. There's a new scam of some kind practically every day in the headlines. Today, an Udhav Sena leader, Anmol Kirtikal, has been summoned by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with a scam involving khichdi distribution to migrants during the COVID pandemic. Raids were also conducted today across locations in Punjab with regard to a guava orchard compensation scam. India is by no means unique in its legacy of scams. Even in the global corruption indices, it is not right at the top, but it doesn't have an enviable rank. But that doesn't mean this isn't a burdensome stain on a nation that an enormous number of priorities we have and a huge population to lift out of poverty and empower for a better world. 
from guavas to khichdi to dal to milk to artillery guns to helicopters to submarines to pharmaceuticals every scam is a reminder of how the world's biggest and youngest democracy continues to fight an endless cancer that eats it from within it was guava and khichdi that made me want to give you this roll call of honor and this legacy of scams that we still have to endure huge rebellion brewing now in the karnataka congress five congress mlas and two mlcs are set to resign from the party over ticket distribution the mlas allege that the party has distributed tickets within a particular family of a sitting minister muniappa they threatened the party high command of meeting the assembly speaker and resigning in connection with this matter here's a full report Rebellion brews in Karnataka Congress. Five MLAs and two MLCs of the party, including a state minister, have threatened to resign over Lok Sabha ticket distribution. The dissenters, led by Minister M C Sudhakar, are questioning the Kolar ticket likely to be given to the son-in-law of another minister, K H Muniappa. This gentleman is responsible for my loss and not accepting Congress ticket. Who, who, sir, Muniappa? This is Mr. Muniappa. So. With all the differences, with the with due respects to the high command, I I I I I agreed. I came back to the party, and party also has recognized me and made me minister. I am ever grateful to the party. I requesting my guru, Honorable Higher Education Minister M C Sudhakar, not to submit the resignation. So I am sure that party will intervene immediately, and Surya Balaji will speak with the concerned MLAs and MPs. Certainly, this issue will be resolved resolved by the evening. I don't think so. There will be no differences. In, in any family, there is some sort of differences. The MLAs claim that while the party high command listened to their views, they did not act on their concerns. Minister Muniappa has said he would abide by whatever the party decides. Don't talk all these things. Whatever the high command takes decision, I will abide by it. M C Sudhakar has threatened to resign if uh, the ticket is up to is... him. It is up to him. The BJP has accused the Congress of promoting nepotism. Last time, uh, this gang only. Spied uh, uh, Muniappa's uh, victory. Same thing uh, happening, repetition. So I think there is Congress uh, inner fight in the coming the field uh, in the Congress party. The power tussle within the Congress now threatens to hurt the party's campaign in the Lok Sabha in Karnataka. Now the ball reached the court of KPCC President D K Shiv Kumar and Chief Minister Siddaramaiah. Will they be able to succeed to broker the peace between these rival camps, which is there for more than a decade? With your journalist Madhu Sagaraj reporting for India Today, Bengaluru. Let's go across and get an update from uh, India Today. Sagaraj, who's been tracking the story, uh, Sagai, uh, you know, Karnataka has become infamous for the kind of unrest over ticket distribution. We've seen it uh, in the BJP. We're seeing it in the Congress now. The ruling party, where you have a sitting minister. threatening to quit the congress along with five mlas and mlcs uh, because of parivarvad it seems it's because uh, muniappa who is a sitting uh, sit sitting minister in the government his son in law could be getting the ticket from kolar and apparently that has caused a lot of unrest and anger among minister sudhakar and others Absolutely, whoever knows Karnataka politics are quite aware about what was hap happened in 2019 when the case when he was contested uh, for uh, Lok 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 Sabha uh, ticket, and uh, all these MLAs and MLCs have worked against him, and it is a known uh, fact that uh, case when he was quite dominant, and according to MC Sudhakar, he went on to say that even for a single panchayat leader or a corporator, they should approach high command because case when he had a good connection with AICC. 
and that did not allow any of the local leaders to grow within the district, uh, which was been a big hurdle. And they also said that Kesh Puniyapa worked along with a few BJP leaders and JDS leader to ensure their defeat within districts to uh, to, uh, to ensure that he is in the in the helm of affairs in Kola districts. And that is one of the reasons that uh, all these leaders feel that again his son-in-law coming back to Kolar or his family members coming back to Kolar is more or less that uh, Kesh Muniapa hijacking the district. And uh, after uh, he's been shifted to Devanali, Kolar uh, has become a forte again of Congress. And uh, MC Sudhakar and other leaders, including the former Speaker Ramesh Kumar, doesn't want mm. uh, Kesh Muniapa to be back again. And that is one of the reasons that all these MLAs and MLCs have threatened to tender their resignation. So we need to wait and watch uh, what will be the final decision of high command on the same. Sagai, stay with me. In fact, uh, it doesn't appear that the, the, the tension in uh, seat, seat distribution in Karnataka is ending anytime soon. In fact, we've got more breaking news coming in now. Supporters. Two BJP supporters attempted self-immolation after B.B. Nayak was denied a ticket from the Raichur constituency in Karnataka. B.B. Nayak is a prominent contender for the Raichur ticket. He actively campaigned and had significant support from his followers who expected him to be nominated from the constituency. However, despite his efforts, the party's central leadership decided to field Raja Amareshwar Nayak once again. He's the sitting... Uh, sitting uh, MP from there and this has led to considerable anger among BB Nayak supporters two of whom have attempted self-immolation in Raichur Karnataka Sagai is with us Sagai uh, this uh, you know this mood of discontent over ticket distribution I don't think this kind of demonstration happens in any other state but ours Karnataka it, it seems like supporters of uh, hopefuls are not willing to take things lying down Absolutely. Irrespective of parties, everybody comes out on the street and protests against uh, their top leaders whenever the aspirants are denied tickets. Whether it is BJP, Congress or JDS, we have seen that uh, open retaliation in the state of Karnataka. And this time it is B.V. Nayak who had also contested in 2019 on a Congress ticket and subsequently he joined BJP. And he was one of those uh, aspirants who, who was looking forward that he will be contesting on the BJP ticket. And uh, uh, BJP had decided to uh, give the ticket to the incumbent uh, uh, MP and uh, protesting against this uh, two supporters of uh, BB Nayak, Shiv Kumar and Shiv Murthy had attempted to self molate in front of uh, the supporters when they protested on the roads. They even tossed the tyres and protested against uh, I command a decision on not issuing a ticket to BB Nayak. Alright, Sagai, thanks very much for that. But uh, Karnataka is not the only place where the Congress party is having trouble with seat distribution and seat sharing within the alliance. Within Karnataka, it is within the party, but elsewhere, like in Maharashtra, it's real trouble with its allies. With the Lok Sabha election kicking off in just 23 days from now, nothing seems to be going right within the Mahavikas Agadi coalition. With the Congress's Sanjay Nirupam calling an Udhav Sena candidate a Khichdi Chor. Watch this report to understand what's happening and what is turning out to be perhaps the most fascinating, exhilarating element of the Lok Sabha election, Maharashtra. All is not well in the India bloc. Tensions escalate within the Maharashtra Vikas Agadi. The Shiv Sena UBT has declared candidates for 17 seats without waiting for a formal deal with its allies, Congress and the NCP Sharad Pawar faction. Three of these seats, Sangli, Northwest Mumbai and South Central Mumbai are being claimed by the state Congress leaders as well. Congress leader Sanjay Nirupam has hit out at Uddhav Thakre's party for fielding Amor Kirtikar from Northwest Mumbai. Kirtikar has been summoned by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with alleged irregularities in the distribution of khichdi to migrants during the COVID-19 pandemic. शिवसेना ने जो उम्मीदवार घोषित किया है उत्तर पश्चिम के लिए उसके बारे में मैं भूमिका पहले से स्पष्ट कर चुका हूं उस उम्मीदवार के ऊपर भ्रष्टाचार का आरोप है ईडी के द्वारा छानबीन जारी है और ऐसे खिचड़ी चोर 
उम्मीदवार को शिवसेना ने हमारे सर पे थोपा है हम इसका सरासर विरोध करते हैं कांग्रेस के नेता यदि संजय निरुपम जी रोज टेलीविजन में आकर सोशल मीडिया में आकर यह बात कहेंगे कि अमोल भैया कीर्तिकर के ऊपर जांच शुरू है ईडी उनको पकड़ने आई है देखिए भैया किसी के ऊपर जांच शुरू होने से दोषी नहीं हो जाता आपके ऊपर अन्याय हो रहा है यदि आपको टिकट नहीं मिल रहा है तो आप कांग्रेस पार्टी से जाकर कहिए The war of words has cast a shadow on the opposition alliance with Shiv Sena, UBT and Congress busy sparring with each other. Many state Congress leaders have expressed fears that Sangli, a party stronghold, is being ceded to the Sena. वो दो दिन से सुन सीने नहीं यादें जाहिर की लिया है। फिर अभी त्याग में सांगली तेरी जाहिर करना जो भी ज़हर में आसमान आता है, तेरी आसमान जाहिर कराए लान न को तो जब इस सांगली चर्चे में लिया होता, या वक्त जो जाहिर के लाये, या वक्त तो सुन सीने ने फिर विचार करावा असीम मने the Shiv Sena UBT, however, claims the seat distribution has been finalized. NBA की तरफ से मतलब opposition में कोई कहने नहीं है। इसके साथ NCB के साथ कोई मजबूत नहीं है। हमने बैठकर पूरी मेहनत से तैयारी से ये लिस्ट बनाई है। मतलब कि ऐसा नहीं होगा कि आपके खुद के कैंडिडेट के हैं एमबीए के कैंडिडेट के सामने किसी पार्टी का खुद का कैंडिडेट ये कहाँ भी नहीं होगा। कहीं नहीं होने का Maharashtra, with the highest number of Lok Sabha seats after Uttar Pradesh, is witnessing a thriller. There are no clear favourites in the battle between BJP-led Mahayuti and opposition's Vikas Agadi. The bickering over seats, however, could hurt India Bloc's prospects. With Saurabh Aktanya in Mumbai, Bureau Report, India Today. Saurabh Aktanya is live with me from Mumbai. Saurabh, you know, alliance uh, Tutu Meme is natural. It's not, uh, it's not something uncommon, but for, uh, you know, two allies to be calling each other Khichdi Chor, etc. Even for someone like Sanjay Nirupam, 23 days before the elections shows that all is not well in the Aghadi. Well, definitely, Shivali is not well, and all was well for the 45 seats. But after that, just for few seats, things went really wrong. And let me tell you, in fact, Sharad Pawar, who is the main leader of the MBA, he is also not happy with yeah. the things which are going on within the MBA. Now, this completely started for the four Lok Sabha seats, like we mentioned in the report as well. What the MBA leaders from the Congress and the NCP wanted that proper discussions should be happened, and once the discussion is over. Sharad Pawar just wanted that there should be a grand press conference in Mumbai. There should be top leaders from all the party. In fact, the leaders from the Delhi should come over here and there should be a big press conference and it should be like a show of strength. But what was the hurry by the Congress and most importantly, Shiv Sena to declare the names of its candidate on all the 17 seats. This did not go well down the line from the, for the Congress as well as the NCP as well. Congress and NCP now both have asked Uddhav Thakre Shiv Sena to rethink over it. They have asked them to take back few names mostly for the Sangli South Central Mumbai and the South West Mumbai seat and they should discuss and then have a joint press conference. Now Sharad Pawar was here today in a meeting of the parliamentary board. The meeting lasted for three hours. What the top leaders from the NCP party have told India today Shiv? Openly, Sharad Pawar in the meeting said that the alliance dharma is not being followed. He is not happy with the way Shiv Sena and the Congress are declaring the candidate's name. It was pre-decided there should be a big joint press conference, but that did not happen. Yeah. Now, political Chanakya Sharad Pawar, it's <clears throat> now in the hand of Sharad Pawar that how things go well. Because you remember, Shiv, it was Sharad Pawar who has uh, hold on the entire MBA together. Exactly. Whenever there is a crisis situation, it was Sharad Pawar who all the leaders will go on and discuss everything. Right now, if he is unhappy with Congress and Shiv Sena, this is a major cause of concern for the MBA in Maharashtra and this will result in the parties breaking in yeah. the coming few days and that can be Sanjay Nirupam himself. Because I spoke to Sanjay Nirupam personally just two days back. He clearly said okay. that it is do or, do, do or die situation situation for me. I am going to contest election anyhow. If the party does not give me ticket, even then I am going to go ahead. <laughs> so whether he uh, contests election independently 
or joins hand with some other party is still a question but there is a clear rift in the MBA and it can be clear seen okay. in the coming days how things can go worse as well. Well, Sanjay sure. Nirupam has always been a strong personality so we'll have to see how this one actually pans out. Saurabh, thanks very much for putting that into perspective. But Karnataka and Maharashtra is only one part of the India Alliance's troubles. The crucial state of Bihar is also giving them a lot of sleepless nights. Five seats have emerged as the source of seat-sharing discord between the Congress and its Mahagathbandhan ally in Bihar. The RJD, Lalu's RJD for the Lok Sabha election. Well, Rahul Gandhi and Lalu may have made mutton biryani for a YouTube video, but their two parties cannot seem to agree on seats, including Aurangabad, Katihar, Purnia, among others. The Congress, RJD and the left parties have eyes on these seats and are staking claim, fueling the tiff that is delaying them from reaching a consensus and projecting battle readiness in the crucial state of Bihar. The Congress wants Purnia seat for Pappu Yadav, who recently joined the party, merging his party into the Congress. But on the other hand, the RJD wants to give the ticket to somebody else. Tejasvi Yadav, Lalu's son, has dismissed claims of tensions between his party and the Congress. He says that an understanding over seat sharing for the Lok Sabha election in Bihar has been reached and an announcement will be made in Patna soon. Agreed left party, Congress party, RJD party, Milkarke, Agami Chunao, Sat Ladegi. और सीटों की जहां तक बात है सबको सम्मानजनक सीटें जो हैं मिल रही हैं हम आधिकारिक रूप से नहीं कुछ कर सकते हैं लेकिन अब दिक्कत क्या है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी भी अलग जरूरत से ज्यादा मतलब आप सीट जा रहे हैं आधार जो है सबसे मजबूत आधार महागठबंधन में है आप कह सकते हैं राष्ट्रीय जनता दल का ही है अब उसी के ताकत के सहारे उसी के कंधे पर जो है Okay, my colleague Aditya Webhav is live with me from Patna. Aditya, Tejasvi says all is well, sab kuch theek hai. But on these five seats, Purnia, Aurangabad, etc., it doesn't seem to be that the fight is over. What are you hearing? Well, exactly, Shiv. As far as Bihar political landscape is concerned, of course, the opposition stands divided as yeah. far as the seat-sharing agreement and, of course, the common minimum program is concerned. We have been given to understand that the, the, the top brass, of course, is trying to say that all stays well within Mahagathbandhan or the India bloc or the opposition front in Bihar, but then the things that are actually transpiring within the party and uh, on the public fronts actually point out to something very different. Notable is the fact that after being assured a Lok Sabha seat from Purnia, Lok Sabha ticket from Purnia, he actually merged his party yeah. into Congress and the promise was made by none other than Priyanka Gandhi. But notable is the fact that even as Congress top brass continued uh, uh, assuring Purnia seat to Papu Yadav, the symbol has now finally been given yeah. by Lalu Prasad Yadav to Bhima Bharti. So this is something that is actually raising the eyebrows of one and all as far as the opposition bloc is concerned. We happen to talk to former Aurangabad MP, Congress MP Neera, uh, okay. Nikhil Kumar who categorically blamed the RJD for actually straying away from coalition dharma. So this is what is coming from the, uh, you can okay. say, party okay. is, but then the top brass, be it Tejasvi Yadav or Akhilesh Singh, right. they are claiming all is well within the block. Okay, so all so, is well, they say, but all doesn't appear to be well. We'll have to wait for that announcement. Aditya, thank you very much for getting us the very latest on that. And here's the latest eruption in Punjab. The ruling Aam Admi Party is alleging an Operation Kamala or an attempt by the BJP to destabilize or overthrow the Bhagwant Man government. The Aam Admi Party now alleging that 20 to 25 crore rupees is being offered by the BJP to Aam Admi Party Netas to dump the AAP and switch to the BJP. The lone Aam Admi Party MP Sushil Kumar Rinku and one MLA from the same area in Jalandhar have just joined the BJP in Punjab today. Just hours later, the Aam Admi Party says an Operation Kamala is in progress in Punjab. The BJP says, AAP is a company and we will expose them. Here are some reactions.
ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਦਾ ਸਦੱਸੇ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਕੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਤੋਂ ਦੂਰ ਚਲਾ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਜਿਸ ਮੈਂ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਲਾਂਚ ਹਿੰਦੁਸਤਾਨ ਚ ਹੋਈ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਆਮ ਆਦਮੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਆਮ ਆਦਮੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦੇ ਤੌਰ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਦਿਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਦੱਸਾਂਗਾ ਵਿਦ ਪ੍ਰੂਫ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੋਕ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਫਾਵਾਂ ਫਲਾ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਮਿਸਨ ਲੋਟਸ ਦੀਆਂ ਲੈਣ ਦੇਣ ਦੀਆਂ ਉਰੇ ਤੂੰ ਮੇਰਾ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਜਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਡਰਨ ਵਾਲਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਰ ਇਹਦਾ ਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਲੋਟਸ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਫੇਕ ਹੈ well in elections anything goes they say all is fair in love war and certainly elections here in india and that's the reason why ops the famous o panir selvam of the ai dmk isn't the only ops who is fighting the election from ramanathapuram what if i told you that there are five ops's who are contesting from the same seat don't believe me watch the story OPS 1 OPS 2 OPS 3 OPS 4 OPS 5 That's right it's OPS versus OPS versus OPS versus OPS versus OPS in Ramanathapuram constituency in Tamil Nadu it's a scene right out of a movie a total of five people including former chief minister O Panir Selvam with the exact same name the same initials O Panir Selvam have filed nominations as independent candidates from Ramanathapuram constituency and each of them are fighting as independents including former cm ops after he lost the symbol battle in the courts so add to the chaos over election symbol he's now facing an identity crisis too in his constituency for voters in ramanathapuram they're going to have to pick from an ocean of ops's bureau report india today